All right, guys. Uh, I ordered a new snowmobile cover from Amazon. I showed you the last one. Uh, was not very thick. It ripped as soon as it got wet. It was not waterproof like it was supposed to be, and then it would freeze to the machine. And when you peeled it back, it would rip. So I've ordered a new one, and I want to film just to remind myself later what brand I bought. This one is supposed to be thicker, 600D material, which is supposed to be 100% waterproof, good to minus 40. And it was only $79, which kind of concerns me because none of these cheap ones ever seem to last. But this is what I ordered. So we're going to try it out this season. Lib Zaki. And look at that design. So that's the 145 inch. Should fit my long track. And it just looks like it's made more for the newer style machines with that high front end. So we'll see if that works. I want to see how thick this material is. So the material actually does feel a little bit thicker and the stitching looks really good as well. I believe this is actually made in the United States and is not Chinese product. So it has the elastic on the bottom and it does feel quite a bit thicker than the last one. So here's hoping. Uh, here we go. Hot water. I know, it's as weird, eh, buddy? So, this is my hot tub. Empty. It's got a crack down there in the shell. No good. Tootfany finished. Got to order a new one. For the last two weeks, I've been filling the hot tub with 18 to 25 buckets a day of water to keep the pump from freezing, only to find that there was no salvaging it because the shell is cracked. So, Right now you're asking, Gary, why are you still hauling water? Because, uh, oh, that one, that one's the big one. That's the heavy bucket. My work is just beginning. It never ends. So I paid for a new pump. It cost me almost $1,000 because the guy came out and the pump was, the pump and this leak started at the same time. So I ordered a pump and before I got them to try it, it's a guy that I went to high school with. His family owns the business. I would say good family friends. His dad was my teacher in high school. Super awesome family. And they said, don't worry about it. Buy the pump. If it's not the pump, we'll, we'll credit you that towards the purchase of a new hot tub. And of course, I'm going to buy my next hot tub from them because that's what they do. And so now I've ordered a new hot tub. However, my stones... The new hot tub is bigger. They don't offer they don't offer anything the same size. So the new hot tub is actually going to stick out 8 inches past the edge of my house, but that's okay. My overhang goes out 16 inches. So I'm okay to do that, but there's no stone on the ground. And so I look at it this way. Yes, they can come and just drop the hot tub here, fill it with water and I can use it for 4 months. Then I have to drain the hot tub, unhook the electrical, drag the hot tub out of the way, and put in another row of stones. Or we can try what Gary's going to do today, and that's melt some frozen ground, dig a hole, and put in a new row of stone because it's only minus three and projected to go up to plus one today. Yes, the ground is frozen rock solid, but I'm hoping buckets of water can solve my problem. Actually quite mild out here. It's, it really is lovely. I don't need any gloves or anything. You can't, well, you can see my breath a little bit, but it's not bad. I wanted to show you guys, last night, I took that uh, snowmobile cover out that we just bought, and it actually fits really nice on this machine. The last two that I bought were not long enough to go over, they were 145 inch, but you really had to stretch them to get them over the machine. This one actually has, 
an inch to two inches of play. And the only thing I had to do, they put straps on here, a nylon strap that's supposed to go under the machine. Well, of course, they only give you three feet of strap and it doesn't reach. So what I did was I just took a foot and a half of nylon strap that I had in the garage, tied it on there and moved the buckle to the end of the new piece and now it fits. And this thing is actually quite heavy. I showed you guys the brand Libzaki. Okay, and it actually feels, I would say it double, at least double the thickness of the last cover that I had. And it's supposed to be good up to minus 40, not supposed to freeze your machine. We're gonna try that for a year and I will let you guys know because you can give a five star review two weeks after buying something. That doesn't tell anybody anything. Let me know how this thing's working in a year and a half, two years from now. Now I gotta say, it was only 79 bucks. If you buy the ones that come from Articat, they're like 400 bucks now and it dry rotted, the sun rotted it after three years. So they're not any better. You guys remember this shovel? That's a good heavy city work shovel. I found that on one of our metal detecting adventures washed up on the shore of the lake. Well, today we're gonna use it. Oh, we gotta go raid that brick pile over there. Ha! The kid in me will never die. Frozen swords. Do you guys remember sticking each other with these when you were a kid? Uh, maybe not every family did that, but we did. Okay, so I need to add eight inches worth of stone. The edge of the house comes right to 70. And we need to come out here to 78. Oh, of course, they're only seven and a half. Of course, that's going to be a problem. So if I put them this way, we get seven and a half inches. If I run them this way, I'm gonna get 15 inches, and then I don't know if I have enough blocks to make a whole row. Not all of those blocks are the same. Some of them were for the side of the house, so it's gonna be an issue. And then I have to dig twice the amount of frozen ground, but really I would like extra footing for this thing to sit on. Mm. I know what I have to do, I just don't want to do it. Have I mentioned I hate winter? <sighs> Trying to dig holes, pour water, and get stones for you guys is not easy and film it at the same time. So I came in to grab a tripod and this is a perfect opportunity to show you guys uh, this, I got it for Christmas, I bought it myself, PG Tech Mantis Pod, a pretty cool little tripod, you can hang it from stuff, you can use it as a tripod, we're going to use that for the rest of today, I'll show you some cool things about it. Hey, how you doing? My wife doesn't know you're living in there, does she? One scrape at a time. Hey, look at that. Two stones in. Four stones in, yeah. Uh, now that the ground is really wet, it's starting to go a little faster here. It looks like crud, but I'll, I'll clean it up and I'll show you guys. So what would actually have to happen here is that second row, the row that's already under the hot tub, would need to be pulled out because it's not level anymore. But for now, for this winter guys, me putting in this row here will support the new longer tub. And then unfortunately in the spring, I'm gonna have to pull the last two rows out, re-level it all. You gotta do what you gotta do, but I feel much better about actually getting stone under it at least right now so that it has some support for the winter so that's not hanging a foot over the old 
bricks, right? So double the work, but I feel better about it. All right. We are down to the last stone and it's, it's been a pain in the ass. That's always the last one. I can't level this 100% because that other second row is sloped so much, but mm, I've done what I can with frozen ground. All right, three hours of digging in frozen ground and I'm done. That's as level as I can get it and it should freeze in there nice just for winter support. I'll have to redo it like I said. You can see I dropped a brick and mud went everywhere, including up my nose, I'm pretty sure. Hey guys, I want to show you something I asked for for Christmas and actually got. So it's just a non-sponsored little piece of gear I want to show you guys. This is the PGY Tech Mantis Pod. It's basically a vlogging handle, so you can put your camera on there, but it's really cool, it's really well thought out. And I want to show you guys some of the things you can do with this just really quickly. Um, because I did buy this before I bought the... I also, I, sorry, I asked for that for Christmas, but I bought this, so a lot of the time now I'm carrying the camera around on the gimbal, but when I'm not, what I want to do is use this Mantis Pod, okay? This thing is really cool. So if you take the Mantis Pod, you can walk around with it like this as a vlogging stick, right? Just hold on to it. But then, if you push this button, you can turn it into a mini tripod. So it opens this way, locks into place, then you can turn Take this other leg, separate it, and now it becomes a tripod that you can set down. And it has two positions. So there's that position, then there's that position. So it can either be flat, or you can have your typical tripod stance like this where it's up a little bit higher. Now if you push this button here on the side, it then allows you to rotate your mount your camera and on the camera the kit comes with this ball mount quick release plate and it has a lock on it and everything so very secure there's one more feature I forgot to show you guys when you open the legs like this hidden inside this big leg is one more this is where it gets the mantis from you can hang it on a window like in a vehicle or something like that or even on a branch if I'm out in the woods I could hang that on a branch and the camera will hang there. That's pretty cool. So a, a pretty well thought out little piece of tech. The only thing that I found kind of silly about it is your plate that you mount on your camera. Of course, you need to have an Allen key that goes in there. And they didn't put anywhere on here to store it. They should have put somewhere. It's so well thought out, right? Everything's hidden in here. Why didn't they just put a spot right here where you could click the Allen key inside the leg so you always have it with you if you want to put this plate on or off your camera. So pretty well thought out, but that's my only gripe. So PGY Tech guys, I think it was fairly expensive. Like I say, my wife bought it for me. I requested it for Christmas. Oh, I actually just turned it on that side. There's one more cool feature. They actually have a mount on the side so you can put a shoe, a cold shoe, and you could put a microphone. So when I'm, I'm walking and vlogging with you guys, I could point the microphone back at myself and then you could just rotate your um, ball head on the top to turn your camera forward or backward. That resolves one of the issues I've always had before using the microphone on my one camcorder. When you're behind the camcorder, it's not very loud. It sucks. So if I could just hook up my external little road mic, put it on this handle pointing up back at myself, that solves another issue. So a very cool piece of tech here. Uh, I think it's kind of expensive. I think it was around $80 Canadian. Don't quote me on I'm not sure it was a gift, but I remember looking at it and saying it was something it was a little too expensive for me to buy myself. But <laughs> if you can get one for your birthday or Christmas, guys, it's, it's pretty cool.